Hey everyone, welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you how to load an image directly from a C array and into IMG UI. I'm using DirectX 11, so it will be a bit different if you're using DirectX 9 or DirectX 12 but it shouldn't be uh, that harder to adapt. This method is perfect for embedding textures directly into your code, such as icons or custom graphics. So if you don't want to use icons with a font, you can also use them with this method. This was a request made on my previous video by an awesome subscriber, so I'm gonna leave his comment on the screen right now, most likely. And without further ado, subscribe, leave a like, and let's dive right in it. <coughs> So, first thing first, we will need a library, which will be stb underscore image dot h. Obviously, I'm gonna leave uh, this in the description where you can download it, so you don't need to search for it. And you're gonna need to use this implementation. So define std image implementation and then include stb image dot h. You can copy them from here because it's easier. And just go into your main and paste them here and make sure the define is above the um, include after you've done that we need to get the image into c array now we've already done this with the fonts if you watch the previous tutorials you should know how but if not we're gonna use an app called x uh, hxd i can't pronounce this shit man anyways we're gonna use this app and we're gonna simply drag our image there so drag your image there this tutorial is for PNG. If your image is something else, make sure to convert it to PNG. This is our image right now. It's a very cool image. Anyways, once in here, just go to File, Export, and then C. Make sure you have it in Downloads. And after that, you can close this. So, now, we can go in our H file where we define the fonts as well. Or if you want, you can create a new file, I'll just go into this one, and what we'll do is do the data again inside the char, so unsigned char, and let's say image data, and then I'm gonna put equal, let's open like this, and let's get the bytes, so it should be here in the C file that we generated, I'm just gonna copy the raw data here, I have it on my other monitor, don't worry. So copy all the bytes, they will look exactly like this, and paste them here. Now this is the whole image in bytes. So now that we have it, we can save it, and let's also create some variables here, why not? Uh, like image width, if you know the width, you can set this as well as image height. For now we won't need them, and channels. Anyways, we're gonna go back to main.cpp and you need to have another thing included. Make sure you do this one. Uh, D3D11.h, make sure you have this included above SDB image. I don't think it really matters, but make sure you have it included like this. If you don't, write it now. Anyways, now we're gonna need to do the 3D device. So go into your main, anywhere above the while loop the main while loop is um is perfect really so what we'll do in theory we're gonna convert the bytes to rgb and then we're gonna let directx do its job and uh show us that image so we're gonna start with <coughs> uh, we're gonna make a char unsigned char and uh, we're gonna say rgba data so this is where we convert and we just use the um, stb thing with the library we just created and let's say stbi load from memory this is the function we're going to use and then we're going to go image data we're going to use the size of function so size of image data for the size and after that we're going to use image width and image height and then the channels I made you do so channels and then for uh, the last variable you're gonna type 4 
Anyways, now we have the RGBA data which we converted from the memory and now we only need to display that image. So you're gonna have the code which follows up here. I will place it in the description and you can just copy paste it from my website uh, because it's gonna be a bit to write but I'm gonna go through it with you in case you want some explanations as well or you just don't want to copy paste so we're gonna initialize our resource view so we're just gonna go id 3d11 blah, blah, texture 2d and then description here we're gonna write our description so description equals like this uh sorry just d3d11 and then we're gonna go desk dot width should be equal to image width I know how I wrote it like this then as well same thing for height and image height then we're gonna go to MIP levels and array size which we're gonna set both to one so MIP levels equals one and then as well as array size it will be equal to one after this we're gonna go to the format we're gonna use 8 bits per channel rgba so we're just gonna go desk that format will be equal to be very careful here dxgi format and then the format we're gonna use is r8 g8 b8 a8 so eight channels for or r g b and a and then you norm you're most likely gonna have it here bam then sample desk count we're gonna set to one so again this dot sample desk um dot count we're gonna set one and then we have two more things we have the usage and the bind flags so desk dot usage we're gonna set to d3d1 usage default it, it surely already is default most likely but it doesn't hurt to check and then blind flags is gonna be to d3 d11 uh, bind shader resource i remember i think Let's see yeah bind shader resource <clears throat> anyways then we need the subsource data so we're gonna start on that we're gonna go d3 d11 again because you started x11 sub resource underscore data and we're gonna name it sub resource so we can access it more easily and then we're just gonna go sub resource dot pcs memory this is mem like this it's gonna be equal to rgba data and then we need the memory pitch so it's gonna go sub resource dot sys and pitch it's gonna be able to image with uh times four now this is to this is the width and the four channels because it's rgba in my case the image is square anyways you could abuse height as well but in general use the width <coughs> anyways going forward now we create the texture which is i guess the final part let's say so you're just gonna go i did all right this time we're gonna go id 3 d 11 texture 2d like this and we're gonna put star and then it's gonna be p texture i'm gonna name it obviously you can name it however you want but it doesn't matter new ptr for now new pointer and then we're gonna go we need the hash result here i'm gonna name it hr for short and it's gonna be the 3d device function and we're just gonna go create texture 2d and we're gonna do this with the desk from earlier the sub resource for earlier that's why we've made it and then the p texture we've just created so p texture now we're gonna check if it succeeded so if succeeded uh, hr like this open brackets and here we have to create the shader resource so again d3 d11 shader resource or whatever shader resource i don't know 
I don't have to tap this out of the room. Like this, perfectly. I wrote it. I don't remember all these things by head, so it's useful to watch tours, so search the internet as well. Anyways, and then we're gonna go do format. It's gonna be the same as the format for the description. So, oh, okay. Format. So same for let's just go to this. Same for view dimension. View dimensions is gonna be equal to D three D eleven SRV dimension SRV dimension, and then make sure you have texture to D like this. Going forward, we only have two things related to um, the texture. So we're gonna go dot texture to D like this and then most detailed me set it to zero and then go again and go MIP levels to one this should be everything now we're gonna get the result again so HR equals the same thing from above just copy this but uh, in this case you're gonna change create texture 2d to create shader resource View like this. Same things uh, here. You're gonna need P texture to be the f no. Actually, you're gonna need yeah P texture to be the first, and then the second is gonna be SR the SRV, and then it's gonna be here my texture. I guess. Let's see if I missed anything. Okay, I forgot one thing. So go back above here before you started the description and make sure you initialize your um, your um, resource view as well. So ID 3D11 shader resource view. And you're gonna go, I don't know, my texture, we're gonna name it equals null pointer. Like this, and now you can go back here, and it's actually gonna be my texture here, and make sure you remove the this. All right, only leave it for the second and the third one. Seems like ah, types, and uh, after that, we're just gonna release the texture after we do the view creation. So the texture release, simple as that. Now. We need to free the image after we're done. Mm, not necessarily you have to do this, but good practice. STBI image free. And then we use the RGBA data here. Bam. So this is all. You've just loaded your image from bytes into your program. And now to display it, it's even easier. Let's say I want to display it. I know. Here after hello world. All you really have to do is go I'm GUI. It already has a function named image. And then you're gonna go, first thing first, you're gonna need my texture like this. And you're gonna go with a void before to make sure. Here we go. Then we're gonna go and use the image size. We're just gonna say I'm vector two. We're gonna use the inbuilt vector and we're gonna go image way, image, um, with I think it's first and then image height. It doesn't matter here because it's the same, but um, yeah. So this is it. If you've done everything correctly, it should work. If you have any errors, any problems, make sure to go in the comment section or just join my Discord or try copy pasting uh, from the link in the description because you might have missed something somewhere. But if you've done everything right, when you run your application, you should see your image it's right here in all its beauty um the bigger the image will be the more pixels it will have and the more bytes it would need and uh, for very big uh, images like 1080p or even um even uh, bigger it's better to just use the file instead of do this from memory this is for icons and short things 
um, like this image, which is 300 by 300 and it only has two colors. But for bigger images, I'll make a tutorial these days to show you how to do this from file. And it's not that hard, it's almost the same thing, just with a few little tweaks. So anyways, if you guys like this video, if you enjoyed it, please subscribe, please leave a like, it helps me a lot. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.